What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I want to come on and go over the Alpaca Gear Zip Pouch Pro. Um, I have been sponsored by Alpaca as a YouTube influencer. So they did send me this item um, for me to review. But as everybody knows, I'm going to review it honestly. Um, and it's going to be, you know no bias or anything i'm gonna say it how it is pretty much so with that being said um i'm doing it on this white background today because it's you know dark it's easier to see it a little bit on the uh, white background so this is the alpaca gear zip pouch pro now when i'm done with this video i am going to link um the link to this item in the description as well as the uh, alpaca gear main website link um i'm also going to link the x-pack uh, fabric site in there so you can go check that out and I'm going to link my discount code from Alpaca my affiliate link isn't working right now um, but you can just go to the uh, discount code get 10% off and they'll see that you know you use my code and I'll still get credit for it anyway so this is the Alpaca gear zip pouch pro like I said three times <laughs> right so anyway it's a small pouch it's a wallet even with the white background it is still pretty hard to see so I apologize for that. But um, I have this in the black X Pack X50 fabric. Now, what is X Pack fabric, right? A lot of people think that it's Alpaca's, you know, proprietary blend of fabric, and it's not. Um, X Pack is a company that's owned by another company called Dimension Polyant. Dimension Polyant is a innovator in sailcloth technology. And what they wanted to do was build a better sail because the sails that were being used in racing sailboats would rip easily. So they invented new kinds of sailcloth. This is not one of those sailcloths, but it is inspired by the sailcloth technology. Um, they have various different kinds of fabric. Uh, and this is a laminate. So they have X3, they have X4, and they have LS. The LS is a sailcloth type fabric. Uh, the X3 is a three ply laminate, which is what the X Pack X50 is. And the X4 is a four ply laminate, which is some of the VXs. So that's why I'm going to link this. Um, so you can go on there, check out the fabric, see which one you like. Um, and when you get something from Alpaca, you can, you know, get that material that you already checked out, looked up, and researched. Because I did research this quite a bit. And uh, it is an interesting fabric. It is, um, this particular fabric is X Pack X50. There is also an X Pack X50 tactical. Um, this is, I don't believe this is a tactical. I just think this is a regular X Pack X50. And uh, what this is, is three layers. It's your X3 technology. It is, the outside layer is, layer is a 500D Cordura. Um, then underneath that, I'm not sure if you can see this, but you can see it on the website. You can see there's like some, uh, fibers underneath right that's called x ply and what this one has on it is a uh polyester fiber reinforcement and that is what the x ply is it is 100 percent post consumer uh recycled polyester like thread basically it's just a fiber that's in there so you have the uh cordura on the outside the 500d then inside you have that uh fiber reinforced x ply and then behind that you have a polyester sheet uh, i believe it's 25 mil um i'm not really positive on that but you can check it out when you go on the x pack uh fabric site if you want to so this is a solid material it's 100 percent waterproof um these are ykk zippers uh aqua guard as you can see here um, if you go to YKK, YKK does not say that they're waterproof, but they are pretty much water resistant. I mean, they're almost waterproof. I mean, seriously, as you can see, it pretty much comes all the way to the end here and little spacing right here, but you know what? It's solid. So this is also a, uh, aqua guard. So this has waterproof fabric and virtually waterproof, um, aqua guard zipper. So this thing is pretty much waterproof, which is pretty awesome. Um, it has these, uh, zipper pulls on the front pocket and the top main compartment pocket and these are made out of some kind of a poly uh, not polyester they might be though um pvc or some kind of a material along that nature it doesn't really say what those are um it is compatible with the hub system which is also on the uh, alpaca gear website so when i link this site um you can go to their site check out the hub system and see what that's all about this has three pockets two on this side and one on this side all of these pockets are about three and a half inches deep 
Um, this one right here is about an inch. This is about an inch and a half. And this one is about two inches. This is a outside pocket. And this outside pocket is about two inches deep. But because of this AquaGuard zipper, you can get up underneath it. So you can get something in there that's about two and a quarter if you put it up underneath that. So that's that. The main compartment is about three inches deep and it does have a divider um if you can see that in there and it is ripstop orange so you can see things high vis so that's pretty awesome so technically this is really uh it, this has four layers if you, if you count this uh you know this uh checkered it is like graph type uh ripstop nylon so it's pretty cool now what i'm gonna say about this is at the end i will say if i think it is worth the price point this is $35 and I don't think $35 is a lot of money but I do think $35 is a lot of money for a pouch for some reason um, I don't know why but I will let you know if I think it's worth the money at the end of this review and I will also let you know if I like it or I don't like it and uh, I will let you know that at the end of the video as well um, I am going to take a page from the book of A actually today and uh a is uh edc question mark and she has a, a section where she says would you buy it again would you buy multiple you know stuff like that so i will let you know that too as well um when i get to the end of this video so the only thing about the x-pack fabric this x50 is that it's not very giving um you're not gonna have a lot of stretch in this material so you're not going to get big things in here at all it's just not going to happen so if you go uh on this site you can get the specs for this um they're pretty much going to be the specs i just told you but it comes with this little card and on the back of this little card it does say perfect for credit cards which it is um and it says you can get 12 about 12 cards in this main compartment um cash multi-tools and knives so and it was compatible and it says it is compatible with this hub system. Sorry, there, my answer machine went off. Um, so, yeah. So I can tell you right now that you're not getting a multi-tool in here. It is not happening. And I'm just saying that from the one that I have. So this is the X-Pack X50, which I said is a 500D Cordura face. And I got this because I wanted the Cordura because it's very abrasion resistant. It's very tear resistant and it's a really solid material. It's waterproof. As you can see, it has a very tight weave. Um, I compared it to my 511 pushback, which is a $70 bag. And this is actually tighter weave and waterproof. Whereas that's just water resistant 1050 D nylon. And this is definitely a better fabric than that. Honestly, um, I think personally. So the only kind of multi tool you're going to get in here is something pretty small like a gerber dime or something like that you're not getting a full-size multi-tool in here at all and another thing is when you put a knife or something in this pocket this two inch pocket it pretty much collapses this zip pocket so you can't get what's in here out you literally have to take this out and then it's accessible see i have um some band-aids and a dude wipe in here but as long as i have this this uh james brand palmer in there i'm not getting that out it's not happening you know what i mean so just keep that in mind as well and um this uh is really not round friendly like cylindrical things don't fit in here really well so you're going to want to put knives in here and items in here that are pretty neutral like with neutral scales flat scales something similar to this which is a drink james brand palmer which is very flat and very neutral shaped um and uh, like I said, this is two inches and this comes in right under that. So that fits in there really well. I did put the Olight O-Pen Mini in here and that actually fits in there really well. Um, and it's a deep carry clip. So that basically disappears in that pocket. And I tried to put a, a, a different um, flashlight in here and that was not working. It just wouldn't really fit well, which was the uh, Rovivon A7X. So I put this in there, which is the Nightcore Tube V2. And as you can see, it is also very neutral um very flat so that fits in there really well as well so just keep that in mind if you do get the x50 uh fabric uh there are other fabrics um that x uh pack makes that uh alpaca gear uses that is more probably forgiving um they do have polyester they do have ripstop nylon they do have um some duck fabric material so there's other you know other materials that you could get this pouch in and you can check that out when i link it uh in the description 
And probably that stuff is definitely more forgiving than this uh, X-Pac X50, which is, like I said, Cordura. But I like it, even though it is super tight and you're not getting a lot in there. So what I have in here right now does allow for me to get my cards out, as you can see. Um, if I put something back here that was, you know, bigger than that, I wouldn't be able to get this stuff out. So that's why I'm sticking with the very neutral shaped and the very small uh, things. And like I said, it's not really round friendly. I did have a, um, a different pen in here, the F301 Compact, which is actually bigger than the O Pen Mini. And I changed it out because this one fits in there better and it gives me more access to this main compartment. So that is what I did. So speaking of neutral, I do have some knives here that will fit in this uh, pocket or the other pockets. This is the uh, Civiv Elementum. And as you can see, this one will fit because it's very neutral scales. Actually, as you can see, very flat, very neutral. This is the James brand Folsom, which also goes in there really well because it also has very flat scales. Um, this is the Ontario Rat too. This fits in there really good too. Uh, and everybody knows the Rat has very um, neutral scales. So that fits in there really well. And the best one is this one, actually. This is the Boker Urban Trapper Petite. So this is a smaller knife, and that goes in there fantastic, actually, to be honest with you. And with this one in there, I can still get what I have in here out, actually, because it's a smaller knife. But um, if you're going to put something pretty much like take the Rat, okay, the Rat 2 here. The Rat 2 goes in there great because it's uh, very neutral. But still, it's going to push on the stuff that's in this pocket, and you're not going to be able to get it out. It's just how it is. Um, that's how it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's okay. You just pull this out, get what you got to get out of there, and go to town after that. So um, I'm just putting the Palmer in there for this week because I haven't really carried it a lot, and it just works well with the lanyard. I can just pull it right out. Um, I like that a lot. At first, I didn't really... Um, like this pouch because it's a lot bigger or a little bit bigger anyway than what i'm used to i was carrying the chums and as you can see it is bigger than the chums this being five by three um so it is a little bit larger uh width wise and height wise then i switched to the travel lambo and you can see it's a little bit taller but it's about the same width and then my saint laurent wallet which is considerably smaller so i was carrying wallets that were smaller in height and width um and at first, I just, I just was like, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this. Um, and like I said, I try to carry things for a few days, you know, three, four, five days, whatever, a week. And uh, that'll give me a better uh, impression of if I like it or if I don't like it. And I've been carrying this, I think I got it like Wednesday. So, you know, Wednesday through whatever today is Saturday. So I've had it. I've been carrying it for a while. So four days. And um, I, I have to say, I did, my, I did change my opinion. I do like it. Um... One thing you have to realize if you get this X-Pac X50, like I said, it is very unforgiving. There is no stretch to it really, and you're not gonna get a lot of stuff in here. And you have to keep that in mind. So you do have to put stuff in here that's very you know, neutral shaped and whatever, that's fine. I have a lot of knives that are neutral shaped that will fit in there, so it doesn't really affect me. But you are gonna have you know, these pockets kind of compressed when you put the stuff in the outside pockets. So if that's a problem for you, they do have the zip pouch, which has no pockets on the outside, and you can just put your cards in there. Um, I can tell you I have six cards in here, um, counting my license, and I'm not going to get a whole lot more in there because I have, you know, this pen, this light, and this utility knife in here, and it's just not going to happen because it's, it's compressed tighter because these items on the outside are pressing in. So keep that in mind when you pick it up. And also, this material is lint not lint friendly <laughs> like seriously it just collects lint and dust but the only super cool thing about it is at the end of the day if it's all linted up from your pockets is running underwater totally waterproof comes right off so that's pretty fantastic actually i think and it's actually a good size i got used to it um and i actually like it it fits in your hand really well it goes in your front pocket there's really no problem with it my jeans have some pretty decent sized front pockets so it is front pocket friendly um so that's pretty solid and like i said i, I wasn't a fan at first um because I was just like, I can't get any knives in here. I was using, you know, other kinds of knives and I was like, these aren't fit. I actually got the whole deck in here and the deck has got pretty neutral handles. And I was like, oh, I can get stuff in here with flat scales. So I was like, all right, that's cool. So then I threw this in there and I was like, yeah, that fits in there really good. Um, and I like the fact that that actually disappears in there. 
Um, so that's really fantastic. And there is another good point to this is that um, with this Chums wallet, um, it does have this front pocket, but if you don't have a retention clip or something like that, it's not going to stay in there. It's going to slide right out. And with this fabric being so unforgiving and does no stretch, it's, this does not come out. Um, it won't come out at all. And I've had this in there and it just slides right out. So that's, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, and that's just another reason why I like this Cordura fabric. It's just really, really solid. And, you know, like I said, abrasion resistant, tear resistant. It's really good. Um, so overall, what do I think? Um, I think I love this material, honestly. This X Pack X50, I think it's fantastic. Super tight weave, super waterproof. Um, love the build quality on this, it's absolutely perfect. I spent time looking it over. Um, really good quality, uh, you know, just put together well with good products. X Pack X50, fantastic stuff. Aqua Guard, um, YKK zippers, fantastic. Um, this thing is virtually waterproof. Um, the fabric is waterproof and these zippers are pretty much waterproof except for that little space. But like, you know what I mean? Unless you're dunking it in water and leaving it there, you're going to be fine. Um, so this quality on this is fantastic actually. Uh, now let's think about the price point. Like I said, I'm one of those dudes who's like, man, 35 bucks for a little pouch. I'm not really sure. What do I think? I think it's worth 35 bucks honestly like i said i am sponsored so they sent this to me free of charge i did not pay for it but if i had to get one for 35 dollars, i would pay for it um now that i know how solid of a build it is and how good of quality it is and how good the materials are definitely would buy this for 35 dollars. now again taking a page from the book of a would i buy another one well there are a bunch of different colors so and different materials um so there is a possibility that i would buy another one i'm not really that buy another one guy um, I have like a hundred knives and the only knife that I have two of is this knife, the Elementum. So I don't buy a lot of doubles, but, um, I might, you know what I mean? In a different color because that's cool. There's so many different colors and, um, it, it's awesome. And then, like I said, they also have the zip pouch, just regular. So there's, um, different possibilities that you can deal with, with this. So I probably would get another one in a different color and maybe a different material. Now, if I lost it, would I buy it again? Absolutely. Because uh, this is one of those items that, you know, like I said, at first I didn't like it because I wasn't used to it. It's something different. Um, it's bigger than what I carry. And, um, you know, I was like, I can't fit anything in here. So I was like, I don't know. But then I figured it out, you know, and I was like, oh, I can get flat, neutral things in here. And, um, yeah, I'd definitely um, buy it again if I lost it. And I would definitely buy another one um in a different material and a different uh color for sure so just wanted to come on here and do the video for that um this is the alpaca zip pouch pro super solid item i mean really um really good build quality really good materials put together really well and um you guys should check it out like i said i will link all of the links that i spoke about in this video um in the description you guys have a great saturday night